Okay, for those of you who missed uh, today's presentation, I'm going to show you what we covered in class with Steve. Okay, first things, we're uh, working with Apache Web Server here. We're going to try to set up some virtual hosts so that we can connect to separate websites on our web server. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, let's see here, I'm going to go to Applications, System Tools, Terminal. And um, the first thing I'm going to do in the terminal is I'm going to sue the root. I'm going to sue dash L so that I'm actually logging in as root. Uh, this is important uh, that you have the dash L so that um, you'll actually be logged in as root. Okay, so then I'll put in my password. All right, so now you can see that um, this has changed, indicating that I have uh, root access. And now what I'm going to do is fire up Nautilus as a browser. So if you put dash dash browser, and then the ampersand sign to make it a background process. OK. All right, now I have uh, Nautilus opened up, and I have root access. So I can click over here and go to the root folder, back here, and I'm in root, and I'll go to var, and down to the www directory, and over to the HTML directory, and you'll see that in this directory, what I want you to do is create two folders, okay, but you have to do it with root access, and to create the root folders, you can just right-click create folder. All right, and um, in each one of these folders, I put a index.html page. So there's one in here, and there's one in here. And I'll open that up for you. Open with text editor, that'll be gedit. And you can see this says, uh, this is the HTML page, it says this is my test two. All right. And to create a file, all you have to do is right-click, create document, empty file. Um, let's see here. And then this one, open this, right-click, open, text editor. And this one says this is test one. So I've got uh, two home pages for um, two separate websites, which I'm going to need separate virtual hosts for. Okay, so I've got that all set up. So now, what I'm going to do, I'll minimize this, is go to um, System, Administration, Services, no, Server Settings, HTTP, to open up our HTTP dialog. And of course, you're going to have to authenticate as root. And you can see here, uh, this is what we worked on last time. I changed the server name to the server. But this time, I've got some new stuff going on here. And that is, on the virtual hosts, I changed the default virtual host. So what I did was, is I clicked on the default virtual host, and I clicked Edit, and I changed the name to Virtual Host 1, and I added my folder for the first virtual host. Okay. And the next thing I did was, is I clicked on this um, radio button right here and said all requests on port 80. So um, this virtual host, virtual host 1, with this folder is going to be listening to port 80. Okay, and then if you need to move this, if you need more room, just hold down the Alt key and you can move that over. Okay, I'll click OK. And then I added, I clicked Add, and I added another virtual host, virtual host 2 which goes to folder test2 and I change this as also default virtual host um, you could choose IP based virtual host, a name based DNS based virtual host or default, but right now I'm just using the default and listening at all requests on port 8088 and I just chose that myself okay and then I'm gonna hold alt here and click OK alright so I got that set up all right, and then the next thing we did was we went to back to main, and we're automatically by default listening on port 80 already. And so what we did was is we hit add, 
and we added a listen with this address 127.0.0.1 which is our um, local host or loopback address to listen on port 8088. So now um, by default we're listening on port 80 and now also we're listening on port 8088. Okay so um, so that's all set right and um, actually I'm just gonna close this for right now um, and once you do that, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to restart the HTTP uh, daemon. So you're going to go to System Administration Services, right? And you're going to restart the service, okay? And this can take a little time to boot up. So if you wanted to, what you could do is you could um, just go here and go to service httpd restart into your terminal window and that'll restart your um, uh, web server. You can see here it says stopping and then it should say starting at some point. I'm going to close this since I'm doing it by the browser. So it started up. If you get it, you can see you have two OK messages. If you don't get an OK message, there's an error somewhere in your configuration and you're going to need to fix it. Okay. It's very important that once you make those changes to your web server that you restart the web server, otherwise they're not going to take. Okay. Now, what I can do is I can open up Firefox and I can test um, both. Um, I can test both pieces. So let me open this up a little bit more. So local host. Okay. Uh, and this size my home page. So that's not what I wanted to see. Dot one. This is a test one. So. 127.0.0.1 is going to the um, test one folder and if I had access to this I'm going to close that window Firefox is giving me a hard time I'll open up a new version Firefox did not like that, so I'm going to wait for a new browser here. And then what you can do is, I'll just force quit. And what you can also do is, type in, now on the next one I'll type in 127.0.0.1 colon 80 88 and hit enter and there is this is my test 2 so now my web server is successfully listening on both uh, ports port 80 and port 8080 port 8088 and so now all I need to do is make some configurations to my router or set up a DNS server, or there's a number of ways you can do it, so that when somebody contacts my system, they're going to contact um, the right web uh, website. And we're going to talk about how to do that um, in a future lesson. All right, but this should get you started and set up your virtual hosts and see if you can get that working with uh, port 80 and port 8088. And um, I'll see you guys in the next piece. 80. Okay.